hey guys welcome to coding simplified and now we are solving a new question in linked list so basically we are given a linked list and we need to move all occurrences of an element to the end of the list right so like in this case we have this linked list and we are given that move all the occurrences of two in the end right so like you could see here that uh, we have all the twos at the uh, at the last of the linked list right so here we have three four five and then two at the end of the linked list right so what should be the logic right so what you will do basically we'll start from the starting of the linked list and whenever we find that element we'll just move the element till the end right so first of all we should know that what is the last element so what you will do that first of all we'll find out the last element will keep uh, will basically uh, run in the loop while node is not null and we'll find the tail right so once we find out the tail then we'll again start from the front node and whenever we find the node so like in this case when i found this 2 what i will do i will basically move this 2 to end of this linked list and then i will basically change the linking of this 3 to 4 right so that's what we'll do so i will basically have one uh, one variable which is node which will basically point to current node and one node will be the previous one which will, will basically point to the previous one and then i will have one variable which will point to the next one so uh, first of all i will i will uh, take the next one in the variable then i will put this two at the end of the linked list then i will make the next of this two null and i will assign this linking of this one to this one right so this is happened for this two. Now again I will go. Now, uh, now let's say if I don't have any value. So basically, if if the element doesn't match that the given value. So like here, this is four, right? So in this case, don't do anything. Just uh, just update the value of previous and node. So now previous will update to the next node, and next will update to the uh, the node will update to the next node right so here basically we'll have the two cases either our node value will match the element value or our node value will not match to the element value if value matches to the node so just move this node to the next value and update the linking if value doesn't match then just update the values right and we'll do it until our node is not the tail node right so basically we'll keep the check uh, we'll keep on checking that do this until our node doesn't and to the tail node right so this is a one case now we can have one now we can have another uh, another case when our node is itself the value so like in this case let's say if i have this two right so in this case what will happen that uh, in this case we don't have any we don't have any previous right we don't have any previous but still means our previous is null but still i need to update this value to the end so what i will do in this case i will i will update this two to the end and i will just update the head to the this node of next so now head will come here again the previous is null so again i will update this two to the end and i will update the head to the four right so this is the only case that we need to consider whenever we are executing this right so let me explain you through code that how i am uh, keeping all these things so here i have this function move uh, move all occurrences of an element to the end and here i am passing the head node of linked list and here it is value so like value in our case is 2 right so uh, first of all i am checking that if head is null or head of next is null it means there is nothing to move right because either if head is null then also return just head or if there is only single node then again in this case we can't do anything so just return head right otherwise take the variables tail variable now previous next this is for the current node and this is for the time variable that i will use so now i will initialize node to the head value and at the starting previous is null now i will keep on checking the value until node of next is null so this is i am doing to finding out the tail node so at the last i will do tail equal to node which is because this is the final node now uh, i will again take this variable temp equal to tail and then i will uh, initialize a node with again with the head node right now i am checking until node is not tail right so this is a terminating condition which is the final condition so now I'm checking that uh, as I explained, I have two cases. In both the cases, my value is matching. So if node of data is equal to value and previous is null, 
it means previous is null means like this case because in this case previous is null right no so this is a one case now i can have another case when value is matching but previous is not null so this case is basically this one so now let's say if i have this three so in this case i will update the previous so now previous will update to not so uh, our node will be this field so in this case previous is not null right so the first case will only occur when our when our head is null when our head is uh, matching exactly the value right so this way so this is case for this one and this case is for second one when the node is in middle right and this case is third one when value is not matching right so as i explained that in the case i will just update the head so that is why i am doing uh, that update node equal to head of next and in this case uh, and other things are same so if you see here that first of all i'm i'm an, uh, i'm assigning the node of next in the next then i am saying temp of next equals to node right so if you see here uh, that uh, basically this temp is also a tell so here what i'm doing i'm basically putting this value to the end and my end is this temp right so that's what i'm doing that assign this value in the next of this temp and at the last uh, update the temp value update the tell so this is basically updating the tell right so it's saying uh, or or either if you, even if you are confusing with this you can replace it with the tell so it can be tell uh, it will be like tell of next then updating you are updating basically tell right and here also just update this right right so basically this temp is a, a terminating condition which is a tell and here i'm saying that update the uh, first of all assign the node into the next of the last value which is tell and then update the tell and at the last uh, just do node of next equals to null right and then update the node so now node of and next is next which is the next value right else if it is if the if your value is in midwin so what you can do you can first of all assign the value then previous of next should be the node of next so this will uh, what it will do it will basically like this case so this case value matches so basically first of all we'll move to the end and after that we'll change the linking so we'll say the previous which is this one so previous of next should point to the node of next which is this one right so now it will do like this now after that this is the same thing again update the value in the tell so tell of next should point to node and now update the tell so now tell equal to tell dot next and then uh, just uh, assign the next of this node is equal to null right and in fact in fact rather than this node of next in in fact you can do also this tell of next is null so you can also do that and after that assign the next value so node equals to next and if your value doesn't matches so like uh, in this case so if your value doesn't match just update the values so here you can see that previous equals to node and node equal to node of next right so by this way we'll move all the occurrences of a given element to the end right so uh, let me explain you through debug also so here you will see that first of all uh, it will uh, it will check the tell so now our tell is 2 and now this is terminating condition and at the starting value doesn't matches because our starting value is 3 right so uh, value doesn't matches so it, it will update the previous and node and now our value matches so now it will basically first of all assign the next then previous of next should point to the node of next then tell of next should point to this node and tell equal to tell of next and at the last node of next is null and node equals to next right so now we have moved the element to the end and now again we are checking right so uh, so i have already explained you that how it is working right so you can also uh, do this using debug it will be very uh, beneficial to check and at the last if you print the list so okay yeah so you can see here that uh, it has printed the complete list as three four five two so we have moved all the two at the last so let me also check with this negative case not negative but when our starting head node is itself the same value so if you run the program and you will see that we have moved all the twos at the last successfully right so that's it about this and what is the complexity 
so if you see that in the one iteration we are doing complete uh, complete occurrences to the end so the overall complexity is big of n right so that's it guys about this video if you if you have any questions or if you see that there is any good method than that then please write in the comment section and guys if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you